Today we're trying some of the best tacos in Los Angeles. I think today what we're gonna try and do at every place I take you, we're gonna do a variety of tacos. We're gonna get different types of proteins. Definitely wanna do beef for steak, chicken, pork, seafood if they got it, any other specialties the restaurant might have. I'm gonna do my best to explain to you, a person from London, what tacos are like in Los Angeles. And I will probably not even scratch the surface, but hey, a day of eating tacos and we're not paying for it. I mean, what more can you ask for? Not much, yeah. yeah. I'm very excited coming out here. This is maybe the video I was most excited to shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like you say, Mexican food in the UK, not the best. We do have Mexican people living in the UK and making and selling the food, but it's just not widespread, especially not compared to a place like LA where you guys seem to have an absolute abundance of Mexican food. That we do. Today we're starting at Tacos 1986. Been here several times. They're one of my favorite go-to tacos. They specialize in Tijuana tacos, which is mesquite grilled meats, corn tortilla, dollop of guac. Okay, a couple of questions. Sure. Mesquite, that's a type of wood, correct? Yes. Nice, so it's kind of like, almost like a smoked meat type of vibe? I would say so. Mesquite burns really hot and really smoky, so the meat is expected to be charred and very flavorful. Sure. I can also like, I can see the trompo, the sort of like al pastor thing sure. yeah, going yeah. on in there. Yeah, yeah. Imagine Definitely. that's also like marinated as well. So you're getting like smoky flavors, yes. marinade flavors, yep. various flavors. Yeah. You're all a big Pokemon guy? I'm a big Pokemon guy. Today yeah. we are collecting all the tacos. Okay, we're gonna catch them all. Catch them, whatever. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Tacos and Pokemon, two of my favorite things. And we fin I finally reached you via Pokemon. You really have, yeah. <laughs> Found a way to connect with the youth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'm starving. You want to get some tacos? Yeah, let's do it. Let's eat. Guys. Good. What's up? Very we well. Got, these right here are two adobada tacos, uh -huh. and we got a variety of two carne asada and two chicken tacos right here. Hey, thanks so much. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Uh, what do you, what, what's jumping out of you? What's one you want to try first? I think, mm -hmm. just from what caught my eye as we walked yeah. in, the adobada, the sort mm -hmm. of like al pastor one. Yep, loaded with delicious meat. You can see they also put uh, cilantro, onion, and guacamole on there. Yep. This looks incredible. You can see the char on that meat. Really does. Uh -huh. So hungry. Let's, Let's go. go. Mm. Dude, we're eating good today. Mm -hmm. Right? That meat is incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a big corn tortilla guy, mm -hmm. but the meat, you can taste that smoky flavor in there. And I'm sure they have a very secret recipe that they're not going to share with us on how they flavor that meat. But whatever they're doing, it is absolutely fantastic. That thing is just slow cooking over there. Just scrape it off to order. Yeah, the seasoning on that is amazing. Mm -hmm. When you cook something on a spit like that and the outside bits get like a little bit crispy, yeah. a little caramelized. Nice, right? Really good, but yeah. super tender as well. Yeah. The corn tortilla is actually like, aren't super common in the UK. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. no. I know. A Another, lot, what the heck's going on over there? A lot of times, if you order a tortilla or you see like tortillas on the shelf in a supermarket, yeah. there'll just be flour tortillas. Do you guys even have corn? In we do thing? have corn, yeah. Okay. I don't think we produce it on a mass scale like America does because you guys put corn in everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But corn tortillas, particularly, I know you have to do like quite a complicated process to kind of get the corn and make it into this. I don't think many people are doing that in I the no UK. I have no idea how to make corn tortillas. I just eat them. Moving on. Man. Beefy boys here. I also love the presentation here. This is almost like a flower. It's just like, look at this little like, cone they have here, <laughs> right? Loaded with their mm -hmm. special guac. I don't want a bunch of flowers. I want a bunch of tacos. Please. Yeah, dude. I mean, how amazing is this? So good. Okay, this all Next thing we're going to the carne asada. Also cooked on a mesquite grill. A lot of the best places will just have so many different salsas available. Yeah. They're homemade salsas. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like you can just like mix and match whatever other flavors you want to add on just here. Like. I'm kind of just freestyling in here. Yeah. I think the green one's going to hit the spot a little, on little, little bit of green. Okay. I can't be trusted with my own salsa. Bit. Yeah, no kidding. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get in here. All right, man. So this is the beef, the carne asada. Mmm. You're tasting that, right? Yeah. How flavorful is that meat? Oh, wow. That's so good. Oh. That green salsa, tangy. I think I'm getting more of the smoke flavor from the carne asada. Yeah. I didn't I mean, see that. That, is, that, that cooked, is directly on the grill. Straight on the grill. That's why. That makes way more so, sense. Like mainlining that flavor, that mm -hmm. mesquite flavor. Beautiful. Very well seasoned. Yeah. Guac's good. I gotta say, people, I think people have gotten used to mediocre guac. Mm -hmm. Guac hit the mainstream seeming like 10, 15 years ago. It was like nowhere and suddenly it was everywhere. But the store block guac, you have it and you're like, yeah, so it's, like, it's fine. I think everyone kind of says it's fine. Yeah. Go to yeah. Chipotle, they charge extra for it, and it's perfectly fine. And you come into a place like here, mm -hmm. this guac is next level. You realize what guac can be when you yes. eat it at a place like this. Something that I know you over in the UK are very familiar with, mm -hmm. chicken. Yes. You got your chicken shops, right? <laughs> are you guys not familiar with chicken? Yeah, I guess we got chicken <laughs> over here too. 
we're, we're moving on. We do have our chicken shops, but none the of them. Chicken category. There you go. None of our chicken shops are serving up chicken tacos. I'm Unbelievable. I don't know how you people live over there. I mean, they would make a gazillion dollars. I do think they would clean up in London. They open one of these in London. Yeah. They'll put this taco on your British pound. They place <laughs> the king with these tacos. That's how good they are. It's that smoke again, man. That's beautiful. There is a significant flavor to their taco specifically. Yeah. You can see why this is one of the most popular places in LA now. Mm -hmm. And then they got like five or six locations. Yeah, man. Just growing super fast, right? A few things that are impressing me and surprising me. Yeah. They're quite simple tacos. It's kind of just like doing the basics. You know, you've got the corn tortilla, some diced white onion, cilantro, the guac, and the meat for the most part. You're gonna notice that today that your tacos is gonna be the protein or the meat mm -hmm. and like maybe one vegetable yeah. and maybe a sauce. Sure. Because the Taco Bellization of Mexican food, like, oh, so I'll be getting sour cream and diced onions and tomatoes and shredded cheese and da 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 da. Like, I'm gonna, I'd be surprised if we saw that much cheese at all today. Yeah, I don't think it needs it. Like, I'm not missing it. Right. I think with maybe, you know, like a fast food, like a Taco Bell, Chipotle, yeah. they need that to kind of like bulk it out and add extra flavor that's not coming from the other ingredients and yeah. from the meat. But despite how like on the face of it quite simple all these tacos are, yeah. all just really delicious to be honest. Yeah, these are excellent, man. I mean, if this is like the start of our taco journey, we're starting high. Yeah, we're starting you've, very you've gone high. In, yeah. yeah, I know. I wanted to lay the gauntlet right mm -hmm. at the bat and be like, uh, this ain't your queen's tacos. <laughs> <laughs> no, how about this? This ain't your barrister's tacos. <laughs> Just coming in with your like horsehair wig for some tacos. <laughs> Why do they wear those wigs? I don't know. It's really silly. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it itches. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. It's made of horsehair. That can't be good for you. Was it like? Is it supposed to be like a disguise? <laughs> like was Maybe. it back like, in the day? Yeah. Because like, the whole thing in Parliament is like you can be judged by your peers, your elected officials, but yeah. that guy's still gonna walk down the street. So he's like, well, right. we'll all wear wigs. The guy you just sent to jail. He's yeah. just gonna and see. And then you. at the pub, <laughs> having a beer next to his family, the crying. You're like, he's like, what happened? <laughs> Whoa, sip. So, Oops. Yeah. That's that's what I think. You've set a bar very high here, Joe. That's right. Yeah. But I need to take you to a bunch of other taco places. Okay. Yeah. I haven't saved as much room as maybe I should have because these have been very good. I think you're I gonna will, find. I think you're gonna find room. I'll bravely soldier on. And then ready to go. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Now, LA obviously has maybe thousands upon thousands of taco trucks. Sure. We can't do all of them. But one truck experience I wanted to make sure you have is here, Marisco's Jalisco. Dude, the tacos de Cameron are absolutely amazing. Won all the awards, everyone raves about them. We had celebrities like Chrissy Teigen, hired the truck to come to her crib. LeBron James had these guys come out and feed firefighters during the Getty fire a couple years ago. I could talk all day, and I can name celebrities all day about how amazing these tacos are, but I wanted to stop here on this incredibly busy and noisy street to try what some will argue are the best tacos in Los Angeles. Okay, I feel like the taco truck is kind of an integral part of LA cuisine. Absolutely. I know we're by like another busy highway, but I think that's part of the experience. So hopefully they can forgive us the background noise while they're watching at home. This place is standing out from the other places I'm taking you today. It's all seafood, but this is an absolute must try. Wanted to include it. You're gonna love these tacos. I love seafood. I'm intrigued to see how this compares to, I guess, the more standard offerings, you know, like your pork, your beef, chicken. Sure. I'm sure they're doing delicious things with it and I can't wait to try. I've had like a couple of fish tacos in the UK before. Oh my God. At some of our Mexican spots, oh which I know. And I've had your fish and I've had your tacos. <laughs> Trust me. Just fish and chips with like a corn tortilla sorted. I think we're about to witness a religious experience in real time. Okay, I'm excited. Yeah, so let's grab a couple of these tacos. They're gonna blow your mind, dude. You're sure. gonna love these, come on. Here you go. Cool. Cheers, my man. Cheers, man. So, jarritos. Okay. Yeah, dude. Ooh, that's good. Not too familiar with the guava fresh. flavors? No, not really. Or jarritos in general. I've seen a lot of these around in LA, but not tried one yet. Popular Mexican soda? Yeah, very much. Yeah. You'll see these in just about every Mexican restaurant or, or truck in LA. Possibly even the country. These are so good. You know what they do have in there, though? Mm -hmm. They have a uh, Monster Energy Drink and Red Bull. With a meal? Oh. I don't know. I mean, you're a Red Bull guy, but would you not do it with a meal? I don't, unless I'm mixing it with cola and having pizza. Sure, <laughs> extremely normal. <laughs> this was voted the best tacos by LA Weekly, and it also has the Bib Gourmand by Michelin. My guy Raul's been doing this for 20 years, and this place is so popular, you probably saw some trucks lined up down here. Also, Morisco-related trucks. Some names a little close to his, not gonna say any names, but if you go down there, there's a few times you're like, there it is, wait, that's actually not it. So, 
Some people are trying to, uh, you know, ride on my man's coattails. Yeah, we're driving past like Jalisco Mariscos. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Famous way original Mariscos Jaliscos. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty tight-lipped about the recipes and what's in there, right? He doesn't. We're gonna get some shots in there, but there's some parts of the process he won't let anyone see. I mean, he knows. He knows this is a gold mine. Yeah, and, gonna keep uh, that recipe secret. Yeah, locked up in a vault somewhere like the Krabby Patty formula. <laughs> this is us. All right, that's our All right, food. Man. Sweet. Thanks, buddy. Oh my God. Yes. Let's yes. go. Yes. Off the bat, you got anything like this in London? No, I don't think so. This is <laughs> exciting. Yeah, right? <laughs> Have they fried this? Because it's super crispy. Yes. And it's kind of all like intact, like staying together in That's one piece. That's right. And he tops it with his salsa. You can see bits of seafood in there as well. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of avocado. Yeah, it's I mean, like yeah. packed full of filling. Generous. Yeah. Do you want to uh, try it in the time? I really, really want to try this. Here yeah. we go. Let's, Let's go. give it a go. I'm mm. about to kill this whole thing. This is so good. Mm. I love how crispy the taco is on the outside. Yep. But the filling, it's really soft and incredibly juicy. I think I was kind of expecting the filling to just be the shrimp. Nope. There's a lot more going on in there. A lot more going on there, right? Big mixture. Yep. People have said that you can't get any other taco like this in LA. I can kind of see it, man. There aren't many mouthfuls that I've had in the past that have lived up to this level of like textural contrast, right. flavor contrast. You get like sweetness from the tomatoes and the salsa. Mm -hmm. I think it needs the lime. Yeah. I love something about like fish and, and lime, yeah. citrus really does it for me. Yeah. With other seafood tacos that I've had or like shrimp tacos that I've had, you kind of know what you're going to get mm -hmm. and you get what you expect. But there's just something about this specific truck and what he's doing here that I just haven't gotten anywhere else in Los Angeles. And we're not gonna get it anywhere else today, certainly. Now that isn't a criticism to any other place we're going to today or any of the tacos I've had here in Los Angeles. What I do want to emphasize is that this is one of the most unique tacos you're probably getting in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. possibly all of Southern California. He's been here for 20 years. And let's be honest, this location itself, very nice residential neighborhood but certainly not a place where people are going to eat before he came here no. and these tacos are so good that he's almost created an economy on the street yeah. based around everyone coming here for these tacos it's a truck he could kind of park it anywhere yeah if you build it they will come yeah he's, he the, is, he's the field of dreams of tacos yeah and he's built something <laughs> absolutely incredible here he's got like an enormous seating area inside yeah, yeah. which i was like oh it's a truck you know you're gonna grab a taco you're gonna stand on the sidewalk yeah if you want to you yeah, can, you can sit, sit down, down. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. clearly the, the fact that they have that there must be demand for it yeah he does have I think four trucks now so he is in other locations but I mean he's holding it down the awards speak for themselves yeah really do and so does the food that yeah. is such a good mouth for the food nice nice glad you like it there's not much more to say we've got yeah. more tacos to eat man I want to kill this other one but I know the crew have their eye on it yeah so we'll leave that one for you guys okay here we Fine. go there you go enjoy on to the next spot. Let's do it. Let's go. I didn't have anything that felt was very authentic when I was in London for Mexican mm. food. Some nice tries. I'm not going to name any places because I want to be nice. <laughs> it's hard to run a business, especially a restaurant. Mm -hmm. But everything I felt, I was like, yeah, this seems like people who have never had Mexican food are guessing sure. what they think it should taste like. <laughs> so I was like, ah, oh, you know. Yeah, there are definitely some that are doing it well. Like, there are actual Mexican people living in London. You might be shocked to hear <laughs> who are making and, and selling their food. Okay. So there are some places that can do it. We have a chain of Mexican restaurants called mm. Oaxaca. I definitely think I'd one of those. We're spelling it differently, though. We're not spelling it like the province is spelled. Well, how do you spell it? We spell it W-A-H-A-C-A. <laughs> no, <laughs> Literally oh my like God. Oaxaca. That's so... But because everyone would have been like, what's Oaxaca? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oaxaca. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I get it. Oh my God, that's so rude. <laughs> now we're at Sonora Town, the location in Mid City. They also have the Mesquite style grill. So they're gonna be char grilling all the meats we're having here today. One thing I think is really special about this place is the owner, Jen, drives back to Mexico to get a certain type of Sonoran flour you can't get in the US, which they bring back and they make the tortillas with. So you're yeah. gonna get a tortilla here that you cannot get anywhere else in America. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really also cool. Also depicted in the mural by the looks of things. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There she is. Yeah, I mean, that is the level of detail and quality you're gonna be getting today at this place. I like that. So we're gonna be doing a beef, a chicken, and a pork, but mixing up a little bit, the beef is actually beef head, Ooh. and the pork is their chorizo. Okay, beef head, you say? Yep. Using all parts of the animal, I like it. Nothing goes to waste. We had pig's head in London, Sunday roast. Which was fantastic. That was excellent. Yeah, that was very good. There's some good meat up there, as mm -hmm. it turns out. Yep. <laughs> Got a little good meat upstairs. 
all sounds really good. I'm excited. Putting like a slightly different spin, I guess, on some of the classics, the meat options, tacos themselves. Mm -hmm. Excited to see if we can taste any difference. Yeah. And I love that mesquite flavor from the first one. So I want more of that, please. Yeah, this place is awesome. Yeah, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Delicious Snortown tacos. Now you'll notice the shape of these in some ways are wrapped in paper. Mm -hmm. Some people think that the word taco actually is derived from the Spanish word for plug because Mexican silver miners used to use plugs when mining, which was gunpowder wrapped in paper. Oh, okay. Makes Might sense. be a coincidence, but one wonders, right? Used to be a gunpowder explosion, now it's a flavor explosion. Those who dispute that claim say that the word actually has indigenous origins from the word, I believe it's pronounced taco, which means in the middle. Sure. Either way, as far as back as the Aztecs, they had some sort of tortilla or bread, some sort of meat and veg in the middle of it, and that's how they ate it, and here we are. Okay, it's a mouthful of history. I can't help but noticing, Joe, that against my mm -hmm. better judgment, you seem to have ordered the tripe tacos. Yeah, I think you're gonna like it. If you don't want it, yeah. that's fine. So, okay. we got chicken, we got chorizo, and we got the beef head. They've added the salsa, guac, which we've seen before, but also what looks to be a little bit of shredded cabbage. Mm -hmm. Yep. yep. Uh, also, the small palm size, that's one thing I think that a lot of people are surprised when they come out here. It's like, yeah, the tacos are small because so I eat a lot of them. I like that. And I don't these, want to eat one big thing. I'd rather have lots of little delicious things. Another traditional way they do their tortillas are they're made with lard. Ooh, okay. Yo. Squeezing extra like yeah, fat like into, into in every yeah, yeah, yeah. nook and all cranny. Flat, all fat everything with these yes. tacos and I love it. Fat is flavor. Where do you want to start? Uh, why don't we start with the uh, beef head? Okay. Oh yes. Now this one, I mean, you see there's a little dollop of the salsa down there, but they got, got like the, a salsa verde going on. Yeah. Very, very day. All right, and this beef looks good. It's like thick pieces, right? Yeah. Chunky. Yeah. Ready to go? I'm born ready. <laughs> Let's go. Mmm. How soft and tender is that meat? How delicious is that? It's like a surprisingly fatty cut of meat, because that just like melts in the mouth. It's, it's, it's so soft. It's pillowy mm -hmm. soft. Mmm. Mmm. Can't say enough about these tortillas either. It's so delicious. Unique flavor you're not getting anywhere else in LA. No, definitely not. Gone. I feel like the flour tortilla, you get a bit more like tear to it sure. when you bite into it. Could do some damage at this place if you're filming this video. I could just literally just post up here and be eating these all day. I can't go over how juicy that beef head was. That's fantastic. Yeah. Do you want to try a little chorizo next? Yeah, we'll, we'll save the, uh, the tripe for last, oh, I think maybe. baby. Looking very good. Yeah, like how crispy these little pieces of chorizo are. Get in there, buddy. Or trees like that. Mm -hmm. Juice just pouring off that, man. Mmm. Slow down. Oh, yeah. So fantastic. Mm hmm. Right? It's locks in the flavor how they're cooking it over there. And that's that mesquite grill talking. Mm hmm. Very nice. It's definitely getting the smoke again from yeah. that one. And to some extent from the beef as well. I think the guac here might actually be like slightly too liquidy for my taste. Okay. It might just be a personal preference thing but that's like a very saucy guac. Yeah, you like it thick and, and goopy, huh? Oh yeah, I want like chunks of avocado in there. Oh, come versus... on. <laughs> eh, do you, whatever, do you, I'm just going off. disagree? I'm just going off flavor, and I think mm -hmm. that this flavor is fantastic. I find personally a lot of the chunkier guacs, because it has those solid bits of avocado, it doesn't have as much flavor as when it's more like a sauce. Interesting. And that's what I think. To each their own. All right. Chicken? Absolutely. Let's go. I'm really loving these tortillas. Yeah. The texture that you get from the flour rather than the corn. Mm -hmm. I personally love a little bit more chew to them. Oh, look at the juice just like dripping, man. Well, you're not getting this flour anywhere else. I'm not, no. Mm. Oh, it's just so good. That mesquite yep. really comes through there. Yeah. Those pieces of chicken are so nicely charred. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just like get one. Like that right there. Right? That's ridiculous that's, how good that's that chicken char. is. That flavor. Yep. That's char, that's smoke, that's flavor. Yep. Yeah. So juicy as well. This chicken is insane. I'm telling you, man, it's nothing but hits over here in Sonora Town. Nothing yeah. but hits. So, no way you want to try the tripe uh, taco with me? I'm going to try the tripe taco. Yeah. See, it's all about new experiences. Yeah, I'm going to get this bit just because it's like, it's got the like hole in it. Like you can tell that's an intestine. Just try that. Yeah. Just try it. Focus on the flavor, not where it's from. Mm, crunchy. What do you think of that? That's really good, yeah. right? That's really good. That's really good. I'm, I'm, I'll, try, I'm, I'll try a full mouthful. Yeah, I'm excited. Oh, it's, it's crispy though. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like you, when you're thinking tripe, you're thinking like the really like squishy, I was thinking, chewy. I was thinking slimy and chewy. Yeah, yeah. And that's no, not, one's crisp not, neither of those things. Mm-hmm. I tell you. Man. That is so good. I didn't expect to be brought around on tripe in this episode, but here we are. <laughs> 
No. Just hand me some more napkins. <laughs> yes, I can. I'll just take the box. Thank you. <laughs> it's almost more of like a pork scratching flavor. That's kind of what I get with the crunch. That's a Lit. great way of putting it, yeah. Just like a, a crispy pork scratching. It's a savory yeah. nugget. Mm -hmm. and really good. Paired with their, their spicier stuff. That was like the spiciest one we've had, right? I think it was. That and the chorizo definitely had a bit more Ooh, kick to them. Got the tripe on a whim. Yep. That's a heavy hitter. Yeah. Amongst heavy hitters. Maybe that and the chicken may actually be my favorite of the four we've tried. Really? Yeah. Really? I did also like the beef head and the chorizo. Yeah. But those two had like such a, I don't know, distinct flavor. I really got the char and the smoke from the chicken. Yeah. I love that a lot. And that one's just like unlike anything that I've had before. So for me, that kind of stands out. In terms of like the assembly of the tacos, yeah. there's a slightly different approach depending on which taco you get here. Ah. Whereas I feel like at other places, maybe the toppings are kind of all the same regardless of the meat and that's the only thing that changes. Yeah. But like obviously we have guac on some of these, not others. Yeah. Bit more like spicy salsa on some of them, but others. It really kind of like does bring something different to each dish, which is quite impressive. It's interesting as well, because like the chicken one here, Possibly my favorite. Yeah. Maybe I think the steak one, for example, might have been my favorite one at Tacos 1986. Yeah. So different places kind of putting their own unique spin on individual ingredients can yeah. really change like quite a lot about the taco. Bring one thing to the forefront, whereas actually at another place it might be more of a supporting cast. Hmm. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. And another thing I should note is that another thing on their menu that everyone raves about is their burritos. The burrito here is also constantly featured in everyone's top burrito list. So if we do a burritos episode, we're coming back here. Yeah, I can absolutely see how that would be the case, especially with these tortillas. Like the way that they're making them with the flour, that special Mexican imported flour, definitely got like a lot more flavor to them than your average flour tortilla, and also hold up really well against all the ingredients that are in there, because there's a lot of moisture in these, but they're not falling apart. <sighs> yeah. You know, people eat like this every day in Los Angeles. You realize right. that? Yeah. It's pretty nice. You're living good. Yeah. That's why you put up with the terrible infrastructure. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat infrastructure. Sure. <laughs> We're here at B Taqueria, and I want to direct your attention right there to what's becoming the mascot of this episode, a man made of tires known as the Michelin Man. You of know course. why he's here? I do not know. Because this is Michelin Bib Gourmand. Of course. Uh, rated, yeah. awarded. Bib Gourmand. Where does Bib Gourmand sit? It's kind of like beneath a star, right? It is the award they give for great food at, we'll say, reasonable prices. Okay, I right? like both those yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, very nice. That yeah, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Other than, of course, the Bib Gourmand, mm -hmm. why are we here? Like, what are they doing really well? Uh, this place, they have elevated tacos. Uh, as you can see, he has all types of unique takes on tacos here, but don't let that dissuade you. The food here is ridiculously good. Okay, I feel like the ones we've had so far have been like more on the traditional side, yes. pretty classic. Yeah. I'm interested to see like where else you can take a taco. Well, that's why I took you here because this guy is doing stuff no one else is doing. So what are we gonna get here? Obviously at the other places we tried to get like a chicken, a beef and a pork, yep. similar sort of situation. Here. Absolutely, absolutely. I wanna make sure we definitely get the beef, definitely doing a pork. But instead of chicken, I wanna get their tinga that's made with beets. Oh, okay. Yeah. And just for the reference, you guys call beetroot, beets. Yeah. Okay, we call it beetroot, don't know why. Beet, beetroot. Yes, okay. okay. Yeah, Sounds that's weird, why do you do that? I don't know, we always have to be different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but that's what we're getting. Sure, okay, I'm intrigued to see how that turns out. Carne asada, obviously, is something we've been having at pretty much taco place we've been here today. Now, people don't know this, but cattle wasn't even in Mexico until Christopher Columbus brought it to the Caribbean when he first came over here. Now, despite there even being an embargo, in 1521, a Spanish sailor famously smuggled six cows and one bull over from the Dominican Republic to start his own farm. And soon after, conquistadors petitioned King Charles V, that's a V, to lift the restriction <laughs> so the Mexican cattle industry could really begin. Did you know now there's 8.5 million cows in Mexico? That's one cow for every 15 people. Whatever those farmers did, it worked, because now Mexico is the 10th largest beef producer in the world. 80% of that beef? right upstairs to the US. Okay, right. I like the idea of smuggling cows in. They get to the border, the guy's like, what's that? That was a horse. Oh, you mentioned that? I imagine that it was two cows in a giant trench coat just on each other's. <laughs> and these, wait, how many was it? It was, it was eight and- Six cows, one bull, I think you okay, said. Okay, so it was uh, three tall cow women. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, a, and a horse that was a lot like a bull. In enormous trench coats. <laughs> Well, that's a really wide giraffe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I land on the border control is like, there's all those giraffes that I let in here. There's like a million cows. I'll see one giraffe. Yeah. What's going on there? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> anyway, that's how it started off. Just a taste of all the, uh, the factoids you're going to be getting this season. Educational yeah. show. We love it. We have 
have two beet tacos right now. Thank you, Ooh, sir. Thank you. This looks ridiculously good. Yes, it does. Okay. okay, so this is going to be the uh, beet tinga one. Sure. Dripping with juices. Also, maybe the biggest taco we've seen today? Yeah, this visually just completely looks different to anything else we've tried already. Served in a bowl, which yeah, is Yeah, you, know, you can see why, right? Different. Dripping yeah. beet juice. That stuff stains. Keep that away from your pants. Okay, Dad, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but there's right. also the first one that we've had with cheese on it, like mm -hmm. a kind of queso fresco. Yeah. Almost kind of got the texture of like a pulled mozzarella or something. Mm -hmm. A lot of cress on there, cilantro again. Yeah, we're seeing stuff here we haven't seen at all today. Yeah, you weren't kidding when you said this is kind of like a slightly more elevated, yeah, fancy yeah. taco. Yeah, my man, he knows what's up. Mm -hmm. Should right. you give it a go? Yeah. I'm intrigued. BT juices. Oh, wow. Ooh. And if I didn't look at it, I could swear there was chicken. I love that cheese. It's got a kick to it as well. Got some spice going on there. Very unique, very interesting. You still get that like earthy yep. beet taste. Yeah. Okay. All right, everyone else coming out. Oh, there we go. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Wow, thank you. Incredible. You thank you guys. so very much. Thanks, Cheers. buddy. And normally we should beach like beets, but the way this is like so soft and almost shredded like you would get with shredded chicken, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a fantastic, fantastic flavor. Yeah. There's like a kind of green salsa on here, which is excellent. Got a nice level of heat to it. Yeah. Oh. Not knocking my socks off. The generous with the cilantro, coriander, yep. over here as well, oh, yeah. on all of the tacos. Which one should we move to next? This one's right in front of me, so I was thinking, why not? Yeah, pork, so this yeah. is the pork. Again, generous with the cilantro, got some sliced red onion, and first yes. uh, blue corn tacos we've had. The first, but not the last. Not the last. We're getting blue at the next spot. You a blue corn fan? Love it. This is hefty, man. Mm. Speaking of staining your clothes, <laughs> there you go, my guy. That's serious, man. That pork is so juicy and tender. It's so tender, yeah. I just want to note that I can basically just hold like a little piece of this pork in my hand and just kind of gently squeeze and it that. just falls it's apart. apart. That's so good. The softness and richness of the meat, but with the crunchy onions, red onion, and the cilantro, coriander, and the, yeah, these these tortillas, man. Oh my god. Really good. Also, just like looks quite cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, they just get like style points, I think, for doing it a bit Very differently. Cool. I'm looking forward to trying this last one here. Yep. Yeah. Again, man. Look how juicy this is. Every time you bite into something, juice just pours out on you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. No. I think this might be the best one of the three. I think I'm inclined to agree. What is it about lime with like kind of Mexican food? It just brightens up just the flavors, so right? Well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That tang, zestiness. So good. I don't think I've ever tasted anything like this. This no. is really fantastic. I do love this beef, like the thickness of these pieces. Mm -hmm. So juicy on the yeah. inside. Really absorbs all of that seasoning and the marinade yeah. that they're putting into it. Now, contrasting that with the pork that we just had, that's like pillowy and literally falling apart mm -hmm. in our hands. I feel like the pork, they've actually just kind of like let the meat sing a little bit more on its own. Sure. Which is really tasty and super tender. It's not just like they're a kind of a one trick pony. They're doing different things with different meats, which I like doing great things without meat as well, which yeah, that, is also that, cool. That really That's good. really tasty as well. I'm really gonna have some decisions to make, you know? <laughs> oh, I, I don't even know where <laughs> I'm gonna go on so this This is so good, this is so fantastic. Yeah. Wow, a lot of places out here, like Beat Taqueria for instance, are kind of totally making it their own. Yeah, I feel like between this place and a few of the other spots that we've hit, yeah. really getting a kind of overview of, you know, what tacos have been, mm -hmm. what tacos can be. Yeah. And it's leaving me with like a really tough decision, but. Well, there's one more spot I wanna take you that is absolutely incredible. Okay, I think I can do one more spot. All right, let's go. All right. So what is some fun LA stuff you got to do while you were here? Did the Warner Bros. studio tour yesterday. How was that? Which was great, yeah. It's just cool to um, walk where young Sheldon has walked, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> just to be in the same kind of environment as That's as so him. funny. Follow yeah, the real, young, real honor. The, so you got, to, you got to go to the young Sheldon universe. <laughs> we did, yeah. That's nice. <laughs> That's a spin-off of the Big Bang Theory? Correct, yeah. Is that still on? No, that ended, then they made Young Sheldon. Uh, I think that's also now coming to an end because they've somehow got like seven seasons out of it. He, so he's a young version of one of the characters in The Big Bang Theory. Yes. He Which is. character? Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> Last stop of the day, 
Vias Tacos, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I've still got room for one more, I Great. think. Uh, we're gonna head or down. four more. We're definitely going to have more than one more. Okay, I wanted <laughs> to take you here, Vias Tacos out in Highland Park. Some say these might be the best tacos in LA, and I might agree with them. Okay. Of course, you're going to be getting the pork, the chicken, and the beef. They also have a cactus taco here that is amazing. And one of the things that Food Insider fans might know that we did a video about Vias Tacos, I think like three or four years ago, a man started this cooking on York Boulevard. It's not too far from here. When we did the video, it was during the pandemic, so he moved the operation to his grandparents' front yard. And since then, he has opened his first brick and mortar with a second location in Grand Central Market in downtown LA. So that's very cool. It's blowing up, it's moving fast. Come a long way from yeah. his grandma's lawn. And there's a reason for that, because the tacos are incredible. Really good. And I want you to try them. So okay. you wanna go eat? I'm, yeah, I can do one more, like one more spot, I think. Yeah, yeah fine. Right. let's go. Good. So when I said I had room for like one last spot, so what do you think they get food? I didn't know you were going to order like the entire menu. <laughs> I didn't actually. There's more stuff to get, but I definitely got stuff. a good sampling. Something that I decided when I was ordering is the queso tacos, which means they do have the blue corn tortilla. Mm. They also put a layer of melted cheese on these bad boys. Okay. And we also got these drinks, which I am having the hardest time opening. <laughs> How did you I was going to say I love these. Oh, it feels man. like I'm in the bear. They drink out of these in the bear. That feels is true. Great. Yeah. Cheers, cousin. All right. Yes, chef. First thoughts on this? The cheese jumps out at me. <laughs> <laughs> you say they've got like a bit of cheese on the outside. These things are like fully covered in cheese on the outside. Yes, sir. I assume they've done that on the griddle because these are all like crispy as well. These are like crispy, yes, yes, lacy, sir. cheesy edges. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course the guac. Yes. And of course, sprinkle a little more cheese on there. Mm -hmm. Also want to point out, and this could be your own discretion, they have a bunch of salsas here that I think sure. all are fantastic. You'd mentioned at the last place, not seeing a lot of blue corn tortilla. Yeah. Are oh, you seeing them now, baby? Seeing you them got now. that blue. The blue has more antioxidants. It definitely has uh, more protein. So in my mind, while we're adding unhealthiness yeah. with the cheese, we're gaining huge benefits yeah, yeah, yeah. here. Yeah. This, this is like, uh, you do this before you go lift weights. All right, cheers, man. I mean, we've been eating tacos all day. Oh, yeah. And this one is hitting the spot. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I think in terms of the beef options we've had today, this one has the most rich color to it. Mm -hmm. And also the color is like throughout the entire piece of meat, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you marinate meat and then grill it, you just get some like color on the outside. Trust me. Whereas this is just like all the way through, this thing is yeah. a glorious red flavorful color. Fantastic, right? Mm -hmm. and I believe it's cojita cheese on there. Cool, nice because there wasn't enough cheese on the outside. <laughs> Let us not forget about our good friend, the chicken. I want to like, again, point out the color on the meat. Yeah. Because that chicken is like a vibrant it's orangey beautiful yellow. Looking, right? A lot of the places we're going to, the, the, the chicken has been cut up into cubes. This one's mm -hmm. more like a shredded yes. chicken. I think that with that and marinating the flavor in it, it just has a better consistency with the, with the cheese. I feel that mm -hmm. flavor wise, unstoppable. And with this green salsa, by the way, Mm -hmm. I try so many salsas, man. Don't let these just sit go I'm to trying to like enjoy it as is. I think I agree with the consistency of the chicken. Yeah. Like a lot of the time, the chicken that we've had has been like say larger pieces, which is good because like theoretically that way it's easy to keep it juicy. Yeah. But this is still like super juicy. Yeah. And also you get these like little crispy bits kind of around the edge as well. Mm -hmm. Super flavorful. Chorizo. This, along mm. with the cactus, is my go-to mm -hmm. when I really? come here. Yeah. And of course, I like throwing in the spicy habanero. Now, I'm not going to force you to try it, but I'm telling you, <laughs> it's fantastic. We had chorizo at Sonora Town, so I'm interested to see how this kind of stacks up against that. Mm -hmm. There's vibrant colors here, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Got to throw a little orange on the bad boy, mm. right? We're eating rainbows today. Hit mm -hmm. me with a little bit of the orange, man. I, oh, nice. I, can, I can handle it, You okay. I think. Famous last out. words. Yeah. Oh, God, that's a lot. I think this is the best chorizo we're going to have all day. Oh, habanero. <laughs> I got a big dollop of the habanero sauce. Got some heat to it. Yeah, a man knows his sauces and he knows his habanero. Mm -hmm. I know we've kind of been saying this throughout the episode, but like just the concept of a taco, being able to have the variations of texture, flavor, spice, sweetness, yeah. tang, yeah. all in one just little like bite-sized oh, parcel. That's such a good concept, man. I've never eaten cactus before. Oh no? We don't really have those in the UK, at least not in the wild. <laughs> Okay. What kind of taste can I expect from it? It's going to be an earthier green. Not as, um, not as hard or harsh as a pepper, mm -hmm. but I, I really can't say it. just tastes like cactus. All right. Yeah. Once you get... Try and I feel like, wrestle one of these. Yeah, this so is like the, the cactus this kind of like green yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, cool. it's, it's the dice green. Okay. And it's also okay. a black beans. Mm. Earthier pepper, but closer to like an onion maybe. 
Yeah, I don't know how to describe how a plant tastes if someone hasn't ever eaten it before. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, it tastes like cactus, I don't know. I'm trying to think like, is there anything close to it? And like nothing's really springing to mind? Yeah. I think, like you say, kind of like somewhere between a chili pepper and an onion of some kind. Yeah, yeah. But it's good. I like it. Earthy flavor, vegetal. Not bad. I still don't know if I would opt what? for that. That's a word. <laughs> I still don't know if I'd opt for that mm -hmm. over some of the meat options that we've had. Mm -hmm. But hey, not bad. First time I've eaten a cactus in my life. Glad nice. they removed the spines because that would be a less fun experience. That'd be a lot worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like the flavors and the style that he has here is like uniquely his own and like uniquely LA. Yeah. You know, I love coming here. Mm -hmm. It always hits. Yeah, I've really enjoyed this one. I think, like you say, putting his own twist on things like the cheese skirts on the tacos. Yeah. Very nice touch. Adds a lot to the dish. Mm -hmm. I think the marinade of the meats. I think for me particularly with the carne asada and also the chicken. You can tell like how long that's been sitting in the marinade yeah. for, yeah. the amount of flavor that it's infused, yeah, yeah. and the flavor itself is fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, I have to say, really like this spot. This place has appeared in uh, a Netflix documentary about tacos in America. I mean, it's just like, they're, they're killing it. I mean, yeah. they really are killing it over here, and, and you can see why. This stuff, yeah. this, these tacos are incredible. Not to speak on your behalf, but is it kind of like a, a true American success story, you know? Yeah, Guy I, can I'd just like so. start doing something he loves, yeah. like from his grandparents' house. Next thing you know, it's got storefronts, yeah. serving to the masses. Merch that you purchased. Merch, yeah. yeah that's a cool the hoodie. The hoodie's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like a cool merch, yeah. <laughs> Keep an eye out for that in a future Food Wars video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as a Londoner, first time in LA trying LA tacos, how did we do today? You did great. I think you've curated me a really good list. I've not had a bad taco today. They've mm -hmm. all been fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I think we've also covered like a bit of a range of what tacos can be. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, as I said before, there was no way that we could have gone to every great spot. There's no way I could have given you an overall experience of everything that LA has to offer as far as tacos. So I did my best to pick five spots I think are really fantastic. I think you did it. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad to hear that. Tacos 1986. Yes. One thing that like really jumped out of you. Carne asada there for me was excellent. Yeah. Really enjoyed that one. Yes. I liked some of the salsas as well. Yeah. The chicken was super good. All right, all also right. just like big personalities. You yeah, know. love those guys. Marisco Solisco. Obviously the kind of the only seafood focused spot that we hit today. Yeah. But yeah, that prawn taco was kind of unlike any bite of taco I've had before. Sure. And we haven't really had anything else today that's been exactly that style. So that for me was pretty unique. Yeah. And again, hard to compare against other tacos that we've had today. Just a delicious mouthful. Sonora Town. Sonora Town was great. I really liked what they were doing with the flour, with the tortillas. Yeah. Changing it up a little bit, changing the recipe. We've had pretty much exclusively corn elsewhere, but I think the texture that you get from that flour yeah. is great. The kind of tear, a little bit more chew to it, really satisfying. Mm -hmm. the toppings themselves were great, and you could just tell how much care and thought had gone into preparing those. Absolutely. What about Bee Taqueria? Bee Taqueria was great. Enjoyed that one a lot. I think the steak stood out for me there. Again, those thick, juicy, well-marinated pieces of steak mm -hmm. were sensational. And I like, again, that they were maybe trying to be a little bit more out there with yeah. what they were going for with their tacos. Vias tacos. Probably like in a more similar ballpark to bees in terms of doing their own thing, like taking a classic dish, putting a slightly new yeah. spin on it. Yeah. Cheese crust is amazing, really tasty. The marinade on the beef again, and the chicken, mm -hmm. sensational. With that, I have to ask, if you had to pick one to be your favorite, which one would you pick? I actually think, I'm going to slightly cop out and not pick a favorite. Yeah, why is that? I think all the tacos we've had today have been fantastic, yeah. all for different reasons. Okay. I know we've had some themes throughout, so like we've had some pork dishes, we've had some beef, we've had some chicken, mm -hmm. but almost all of them have been done in an, a very unique and different way. I think it would be doing a disservice to pick one that I really like. Okay. Honestly, I think if anyone watched this video, wanted to come to LA, have a good taco, uh -huh. any of these spots, you're not going to leave disappointed. So give one of them, my like overall favorite spot, I think is impossible. Okay, I share your sentiments that every place here we went to today was fantastic. It is a hard choice, but I've been eating here for years. And for me, Via's Tacos all the way. I absolutely love the food here. I mean, the other places were absolutely fantastic, but this is my number one. But yeah, overall, I'm just like a big fan of tacos, taquerias, yeah. LA taco culture. Mm -hmm. If you want to bring some over to the UK anytime soon, then I'm telling you, man, any, these, any one of these establishments we've gone to today, if they just did, remotely what they're doing here in London. The game is theirs. Yeah. Wahaka is quaking in its boots right now. <laughs>